Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you really quick how to make backgrounds in Photoshop, or at least what I've been doing. I'm going to show you all my presets right here. But uh, I've been using this well, over the past year. Uh, I don't like mucking about too much with the uh, copyrighted work, so I'll make my own stuff really quick. And if I have a tight deadline and I don't have much time to work on these backgrounds and I want a little bit of texture, then this is what I usually do. Anyway, okay, I'll go ahead and start with uh, this canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and take off this automatic correction and I will go ahead and jump right in alright so I'm going to go ahead and pick a color um, I think I might be going more for I'll go ahead and make this one brown um, I usually start off with two different colors making a gradient um, keep them very close together I don't want their at least for what I'm going to be doing today, too big of a distinction between the two. Um, make this one a little bit lighter brown. I'm going to go ahead and throw a gradient on here. I'm going to make it a radial gradient. And, uh, okay. Doesn't look too bad. I think I'll put the light, oop, the uh, light on the inside. There we are. That looks good. Okay, so what I usually do is I'll go up here to filter and then filter gallery and this is really handy all these little drop down arrows you can select your different filters and it'll just put different textures on there and there's a whole bunch of presets that you can play around with and I'm gonna go ahead and scroll through a few of these so you can see what they look like um, right now I'm zoomed in a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out and uh, yeah once you uh, pick one that you like you can go to the right hand side of the screen and go ahead and modify it just a little bit to what you like um, I'll go ahead and lighten up these tones a little bit maybe make the circle a little bit bigger um, this is one I'm gonna end up using right here uh, for what I'm using this for I, I like this a lot I like the uh, simplicity and I like the distinction between the inner circles anyway so that's how I made a background it's pretty quick pretty easy uh, maybe you want to throw in an a different thing that you download off the internet or something or a different background that you might have made throw in an overlay on I usually throw these in the After Effects and put them in my videos but you can really do whatever you want with them um, anyway I hope this helps you out with your current and future projects um, you know please like and subscribe and uh, thank you for watching